Hello everyone, Jake Burkett with Real Brokerage. Thanks so much for joining us on another fantastic home tour. We are in Sumlin, west side of Las Vegas. I know you guys hear that a lot, I just love the area. So it's a fantastic uh, place to live. There's many great areas of Las Vegas to live in. We work the entire greater Vegas Valley. So we're in Canyon Fairways. It's a golf course community located on TPC Las Vegas. If you're a golfer, you should be well aware of what that means. If you're not a golfer, it's a very beautiful golf course. The home is sitting on the fairway with the approach to the green. It's a guard gated community. This is the home right here behind me. It was just renovated, so it's all brand new on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right, before we head in, let's do what we normally do. We're gonna take a quick peek around the community. So we're at the end of a cul-de-sac, almost a cul-de-sac. It's a little loop around right here. Just kind of showing you the homes right here. Got another one that's just finishing up some renovation. You can see the front yard, or excuse me, the front landscaping has been worked on a little bit there. And the house over next to us is going through some renovations as well. So beautiful community, mature landscape, very quiet, very private, uh, just a really nice place to be. So, all right, let's talk about this house. It's a huge house, 5,981 square feet. The lot, 14,810 square feet. That's larger than a quarter acre probably close up there to about a third of an acre. So pretty big house. We have five total bedrooms, seven total bathrooms. Uh, it's a two-story home. Uh, what else? It's on the golf course. It's got a pool. It's got a spa. It's got beautiful grass in the front right here. It's got a courtyard. You do have a couple of the bedrooms in here that could be ADUs. Uh, probably the HOA would not allow that. But if you had some uh, a friend, elder kids, maybe even some parents living with you, this house could accommodate them rather nicely. Public utilities three-car garage and um, yeah so we're in the driveway of course here's the side of the house and the price is right at four and a half million dollars yes there is an HOA total monthly dues are four hundred and five dollars we do have uh, what else do we have in here we have basketball courts we have gated guard gated where there's playgrounds there's walking trails you know all sorts of stuff And if this is your first time joining us, thanks so much. I try not to talk too much. I just want to show you this great property. If you have any questions about it, give me a call. If you have any questions about anything else in Las Vegas, the buying or selling process, give me a call. Now you will see a little bit of construction material still out and the steps right here are having some work done. So like I said, home was just finished up and uh, just has a couple more touches to go. Courtyard fireplace. And we have four upstairs bedrooms. We have one downstairs bedroom with an office. Flooring is consistent throughout the house. It's an LVP, I believe this is white oak. So we come right in, you have this uh, like great room right here, family room, living room, formal living room, whatever you wanna call it. You got the pool, you got the golf course, you got a gas fireplace right here, high ceilings. And I'm going to show you the entrance into the home right here. This is our half bath downstairs, cool trough style sink. Got gold fixtures, gold uh, handles and whatnot. Now, if you're a wine connoisseur, you have a wine cellar right here. I'm not gonna go all the way down. You can see it just goes down. This is the storage. Around the right is the closet uh, with the humidifier in there. So uh, climate control this if you like. We'll get to all this in just a minute. First, we're gonna go over here by the dining area, the kitchen. There's another separate kind of little pocket living room and we can go upstairs to one of the uh, bedrooms. Gorgeous kitchen, all remodeled. This is leather wrapped granite, waterfall edges. You got some drop down pendant lights, Z line appliances, lots of counter space, backsplash, six burner, actually seven if you count the center one. Got your fridges over here. 
so they're kind of cool, like a little different. You got a fridge, then you have like hidden pantry, butler's kitchen, full on blowing out awesomeness back here. Surprise! So yeah, if you're into entertaining, like you can do a lot back here and whole nother fridge, whole nother um, cheese cooktop, wine fridge, microwaves, storage, just a really cool space. So like I said, if you're a big entertainer, like this house would be so great, fantastic for that. We'll close this back up. And then you can see the other half of your fridge right there. So that's pretty cool. Kind of give you this back to you here. All right, here's that kind of pocket living room. So cool place to chill, hang out. Little, another separate dining area. And now these two doors go out to the front courtyard that we uh, came in through just a minute ago. Big pantry. And this door also leads us into the three car garage. This door also goes to the front courtyard of the house. Poxy flooring, windows in the garage. This closet is your hot water heater and your soft water conditioner system for the house. Got additional storage under the stairwell here if you need it. All right, so we're gonna go up these stairs. There's a ensuite bedroom up here. So if uh, someone else was living here, you could actually, if you really wanted to, you could close this off right here. Um, you kind of lose your pantry, but you have that chef's prep kitchen back there. So if you had someone living with you who's part of the family, but maybe not, not your younger children, this could be a great space for them. It's got a full on shower. This is just additional storage. It's also an access way to the attic, which is right there. So if you have to get to the HVAC unit, let's go back down. All right, got a nice backyard. Got a big, beautiful barbecue right here. Great views out to the golf course right there. Pool, fire features. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't believe those are fire features. I think those are just decorative. So I stand corrected. Got your hot tub, little grass patch. It's your pool equipment over here on the side of the house right there. It's also a gate access to the front of the house. If you did have little kids, the pool decking is already set up for a kid safety fence. So yeah. And we have a nice office, large office. So if you work from home, lots of people telecommute these days, access to the backyard, really big space. Could also convert that if you needed to do something else with it. Now, if you have folks out there partying in the pool, swimming around, having a good time, you don't want them to come all the way through the house. You have your nice little pool, bathroom, half bath right there, nice access. And this is our downstairs bedroom. 
which also has access to the front of the house. So if someone was staying in here, they don't even have to come into the entirety of the home. You could close off that hallway. And it's a three quarter bath. It's got a shower, nice digs. I dig that wallpaper. What do you guys think about it? I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's go upstairs. We're gonna look at the uh, other two secondary bedrooms. There's a little loft area and the primary suite. The secondary bedroom has its own little balcony right there out to the golf course. Big bathroom. Lots of space in here. Walk-in closet with little A-frame ladder. Small little balcony out to the front of the home right there. Yes, that fire uh, smoke detector needs to be replaced. It's pretty cool. So all the bathrooms are all like different materials. So it just gives it a nice different look and feel throughout the house. Doesn't quite give it that cookie cutter stamped out that you do see in a lot of the track communities nowadays. Here's our laundry room. All right, and linen closet right here. So, never heard anybody say we've got too much storage in a home. Another little balcony that's just to the front courtyard of the house right there. All right, this is our primary suite. So much more than just a bedroom. We're gonna go ahead and walk through this massive uh, walk-in closet first with a window out to the golf course, of course. See what I did there, a little pun. And we're gonna pop right out into the bathroom. Generously sized. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Got our large walk-in shower right here. Got a little bench, very important. Classic looking freestanding soaking tub. Nice little smart vanity over here. And we're gonna call this the CEO bathroom because it's a huge bathroom. It's got that sleek toilet up against the wall. It takes up minimal space. Um, it's more of a bathroom than we normally feature, but it's got a lot, of, a lot of storage in here, a lot of countertops, so handle your business. And here is where you're gonna lay your head at night. So nice, big, spacious uh, bedroom. Good looking chandelier. You got your own gas fireplace, cool little mantle. And you got your little balcony out to the uh, golf course. Well, that about does it. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions about this house, that phone number right there, that's the best way to get in touch with me. If you have any questions about anything else in Las Vegas, buying or selling other communities, this community, give me a call. We work the entire Las Vegas Valley. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. And you have a fantastic, blessed day.